How you guys doing? This is Trenton once again with SoutheastPitReport.com, hanging out here at Ground Zero in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Right now we are hanging out with the dudes and Ratchet. How you guys doing tonight? Hey. Yeah, howdy. <laughs> howdy do. Hey. Doing good, man. I think you guys are yeah, in the wrong good. wrong area of the, of the world for that kind of thing. So <laughs> It's more like, how are y'all folks doing out how here? How y'all doing? No, no, we're from the south too, man. We're okay. from all over the southeast. Okay, so sweet. We say y'all. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> he's from DC. Yeah. He's from DC. Oh, he's different, okay. He's right on different the area. Place. We don't really. He's not really. You don't count him. You don't count him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, briefly introduce yourselves. What y'all doing in the band, real quick? Uh, my name's Adam. I sing in the band. I am Steven, and I play the electric guitar. Joel, I also play the electric guitar. It's got six strings. Andrew, bass. Nice. Okay. So. Uh, All right. Yeah. Brian on click tracks. Yeah, he's oh. working on stuff for the set. Oh, okay. Awesome. So, um, so talk about your record, uh, Cannibal, I believe is what it's called. So, uh, talk about that for a second, uh, where the name came from and uh, what, what the record's about and everything. Uh, lyrically, it's it's about um, just people, like, beating off each other, kind of, mm -hmm. uh, in the literal sense and kind of the theoretical, I guess. But, okay. Um, I don't know. It's a lot of personal stuff. But, it's all pretty real. There's some like exaggerations for sure, but uh, it's all based off of real shit. Okay. Um, we recorded the album ourselves, uh, tracking, and the first mix of it was done by Marshall and Joel, and really the whole band. But um, yeah, then we sent it to uh, Jason Sukoff to mix it, and to Alan Duchess to master it. Okay. And it came, I think it came out, uh, honestly, sounded great. Oh, yeah. So listen to it today on Spotify and, and everything. It sounded pretty sweet. So. Cool. Thanks, where's, where's your, uh, what's your inspiration for that heavy, aggressive sounding music come from? Like, you know, some, some bands are like, kind of like, you know, they have, have a clean singing. Some bands are, you know, you know kind of like more metalcore, but you guys are flat out like false of all heavy, basically, with the death metal and all that. So like, what, what inspired you guys to do a, such a heavy and brutal sound? Um, I don't know. I mean, like, we've always just been... The southeast scene is so saturated with heavy, heavy shit. Like we all grew up, like really good friends with like through the eyes of dead and those those kind of guys. You know, it's just got that super heavy southern metal feel to it, and that's just gotten progressively heavier and heavier as we get older. So uh, we just took the next natural step in that progression and made it heavier this time. Okay. Yeah. So you guys got a uh, any new record or music you're working on, and if so, like what's that like compared to what you have out now? We always have riffs brewing, you know, we're always, you know, always writing, just, you know, um, but we haven't really, you know, sat down to think out a record yet, but definitely ideas flowing around. Okay, awesome. So, uh, talk about this tour you're on with a Sworn Enemy, it's a pretty, it's pretty awesome tour, the uh, tour package is amazing, so I heard it's only second day of it, but uh, what do you, that guys, like, what are your expectations for this tour, touring with these guys, whether it be from the fans or from the other bands, and just like, what are you planning to get out of it? I think it's going to kick ass. It looks like a show I saw growing up, you know, with all different genres in it. It's, yeah, you know, I, think, I think we'll have like a really widespread, eclectic group, you know, like we'll have the, the old hardcore dudes out there for Sworn Enemy and they can dig on us and we've got our kids out there <laughs> hanging out and they like hardcore. So it's cool. Yeah. It's like a, it's different genres, but everybody can appreciate what's going on. Last night's show, show was so fun too. Yeah. Like everyone seemed to be enjoying it. Like the crowd wise, it's a good combination. And yeah, yeah, everyone's cool on the package, and that's like, you know, my biggest concern is just if everyone's laid back and cool and easy to get along with. Everyone's awesome, so I think it's gonna be a good one. Yeah, I'm stoked. Awesome. I like the fact that Hammer Fight is opening it too, because it's like a, they're like a rock and roll. They're amazing. I listened to the day too. They're, they're they awesome. sound they blew me away. I was I was highly impressed with them. <laughs> That like opening the bill just sets it off to be like, well, this isn't your average metal bill, you know. It's yeah. like got all kinds of stuff. Yeah. On. Okay. Sweet. So, um, what are you guys up to this summer? Any touring plans? Any festivals? Or any big news you can talk about right now? Nothing that we can talk about right now. We're trying to line some stuff up and get everything set in stone, but we're uh, we're working on it. Okay. So we're probably gonna do a uh, tour with Metallica uh, late Negative June, too. Uh, but we go, can't. Gojira. Gojira. Uh, we'll <laughs> Who else? Um, uh, Insync's Slip. coming back. I think yeah. 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 big resurgence of those old school bands like Insync and Backstreet Boys. Really, really meshes with the heaviness of. Canada, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Bring out Blink One Eighty Two next time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That totally fits right there. It's yeah. gonna rock. <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably most likely be doing some tours. It's just all kind of in the works right now. Yeah, yeah. Maybe some recording. 
So uh, tour tours are long and sometimes kind of like get hard to you know keep up with stuff and everything. So uh, let's just talk about this right here. How in the world do you keep up with that on tour? Well, <laughs> this is actually uh, just dust. Mostly it's, it's <laughs> dust. It's like it's a uh, there's rat feces in there. Oh man, it's a uh, mold. Yeah, a lot of mold. Yeah. Imagine um, sweeping a venue with a mop. Yeah. The same mop. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I'll tell you. But baking soda does the trick. It is amazing. Yeah. You fill up a bucket or something there. with some baking soda and some fucking lemon juice or whatever the fuck you got. I've never seen you do that ever. <laughs> I've never seen you do that. Yeah, it's because I do it in the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> it should be a new on stage ritual. <laughs> <laughs> so you lie. <laughs> yeah. What, what was what was the next question? I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. I was gonna say you should do that live to start like go oh, through your do oh, some yeah. like hair tutorials in the van while you're oh, yeah, killing totally. time and tea all that. Right. Kids, tea tree oil. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I don't, yeah, I don't even know what that stuff is. Cures everything. <laughs> <laughs> tea tree oil. Yes. I don't even know what that is. So besides your hair product and everything, what what are some things that you guys take out on tour and all that to, I guess, kill time and uh, wet wipes. Oh yeah, wet wipes. Oh, kill to kill time. time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did not know where you're going with that. <laughs> I, thought you were, I thought you were talking about a tour a essentials. <laughs> tour <laughs> essentials, wet wipes, a lot kill, of books. killing time. A lot of books, books, iPad, I, music, iPad. Yeah. Honestly, I, I used to bring all that stuff, and I recently just bring my phone because you can really read. You can find something to read on there any got, in the day. We got this dot on the ceiling that Adam just stares at for hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just staring. <laughs> yeah, I used to try. Try and bring shit to amuse myself, but I kind of over time just cut down and just bring, yeah. bring nothing. Yeah, you don't think uh, wet wipes are amusing? <laughs> wet wipes, <laughs> maybe. Uh, you can play with those things all day. Maybe <laughs> cornhole or you know, a frisbee or something. <laughs> yeah. All right. Something. If there's water anywhere, it's really yeah. Nice. I'm so awesome. doing plenty of that. It's already fucking hot out here. Yeah, it is. <laughs> April. It's fucking ninety degrees. Welcome to the south. Yeah. It is sweltering. How's that going? Uh, yeah, how's that going? You guys are a bunch of southern guys and sworn enemy. They're like from like New York and all that. So you got like your, you're like really, really like northern guys. And like, got your like Drew said, everybody's super chill. So it's like we haven't really gotten to know them all that well yet, but they all seem like super nice guys. Yeah, and, you know, we're all gonna get along just fine. You know, so if you guys uh, we'll, like, give, we'll give them some shit for being a bunch of goddamn yanks. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure they'll be talking shit about how southern we are but whatever you guys i uh, gave them any nectar of the gods in the form of sweet tea yet <laughs> oh not yet i'm we'll, pretty we'll sure try. Pretty, i'm sure yeah pretty season or some or some or some cookout or something but cookout, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. i think that you know i already know about cookout I know. yeah, yeah. They, they, damn it but that's yeah. our that's our thing though we love showing bands cookout for sure yeah it is it's catching yeah. on <laughs> yeah and now a lot of bands know about it. spicy chicken tray right. cheese fries corn dog no tomato. <laughs> All for under five bucks. You get you get a bacon wrap now. You get it as a side. You get quesadillas as a side. Or choose from 40 milkshakes for your drink. Yeah, yeah that's true. I like doing the banana shake, but then I'll switch it up, and I'll do a banana pudding shake. That is really good. <laughs> they get the, the wafers in there, yeah. you know, and they mix them the all up. You get the seasoning on the fries. You get the seasoning. Yeah, you might want to put a disclaimer on the video to let them know to like, <laughs> like, bring out a notepad. <laughs> you can write all this shit down. <laughs> Adam, what are, your, what are your thoughts on the cookout near Stevens? Um, cookout's pretty good. I've been there, uh, I'd say, four or five times in the last uh, couple of weeks, and it's been hitting me hard with the onion rings. But uh, <laughs> I started dipping the onion rings in a honey mustard instead of ranch. Because I Ooh. eat so much goddamn ranch. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty good. So try onion rings with uh, honey mustard. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is quality <laughs> shit right here. So, uh, you guys got anything else you guys want to talk about or plug or anything before we wrap it up here? Uh, There's a cookout right <laughs> in Virginia now. It's like right on the border of North Carolina. Actually, I'm from Virginia, oh, and uh, yeah. I'm from Danville, actually, and yeah, they got a cookout there now. Exactly. So, yeah, Whoa. it's really catching on up there. So, yeah. <laughs> Now, I would just like to say, check out the bands we're touring with. Uh, check out Cannibal if you haven't heard it. It's our newest album. It's on Victory Records. Um, it's been out coming up on a year now. <laughs> June will be a year, well, shit. Well, shit. <laughs> I guess it's down to rats music. <laughs> Add a banjo on the next one. There you go. <laughs> yep. All right, That's sweet. It, man. All right, sweet. So, uh, yeah, say that again. 
come out to the shows. Yeah, yeah definitely. No Mercy, New no Surrender Tour. All right, sweet. So uh, this is Trent with Southeast Pit Report, hanging out here with the guys in Wretched. Thanks for watching.